friends this is Sima from Sima's Art Club and today's video I'm gonna share with you how to create this beautiful simple elegant design of a rose on a card you can use this for any occasions so let's get started so in order to do that I'm gonna use 9 by 12 watercolor paper but I'm gonna cut it to the size so this is watercolor paper by Strathmore and I use a size 9 by 12. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut first this paper uh, to a certain size. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a size that I am cutting. You can use any kind of size that you wish your card is gonna be. So I'm gonna use this paper cutter. I'll just do the same size as I did it last time. I cut watercolor paper in half. That's what it is. But if you like, you can buy already cards that are sometimes in the stores like Michael or any other craft stores. You can buy cards that are already ready to go with the envelopes and they don't have any designs on them. So they're like plain and you can buy them and then you can do it yourself design. Or if you wanna save money, you can just use your watercolor paper for this design. So I'm going to paint this rose. You can find a rose painting tutorial on my channel. I will be uploading another uh, rose painting tutorial as well. But I'm also going to be showing in this video as well how to paint the rose. If you're interested in uh, this kind of rose painting tutorials, please subscribe and uh, press and notify bell button so you can get uh, you can get notified when I upload my next video so let's get started this is gonna be a side view rose so I'm gonna load my brush with a paint first generously I will keep it on the dryish side not too much water is needed in the beginning so what i do how i draw us so i get two like indian sign <laughs> so i paint two strokes like that then i add third one a little bit and i see i kind of Start with light pressure, then put a little more pressure and then kind of drag a brush back to the light pressure. See, like this. You see, I start with light pressure and then kind of drag a brush. Don't really put much pressure. So this is a side view rose. I'm gonna put more petals on this side, keeping the other side a little. Can start my strokes will get bigger, especially the and you see I'm kind of dragging my brush as I paint. Here at this point, I'm gonna wash my brush to make the um, lighter hue of the brush. And I'm gonna continue on putting on the strokes, just like that. Drag your brush, just like that, you can add. Here, I'll put less because it's kind of side view. So I'll just work my way 
around. So I'm just gonna put here some leaves. Add a little bit more details. You don't when it you can keep it like this. Do not have to do anything. But I just wanted to make color of my rose a little darker. And when it dries, I'll add some gold, some shimmer. So for this project, I want to use rose gold. So the rose gold uh, shimmer will give it nice color because of the color of the rose as well. But uh, you can use any kind of gold. You actually can use like a marker too for this project. But I, I just wanted to make it rough. It doesn't need to be perfect. And that's how it looks. It looks beautiful more that way when it's uh, just uh, hand painted. So here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more details on the rose and on the leaves with the rose watercolor. So I feel like it will just make it stand out more a little bit. See. And here's the final result.